Hello everybody, today I will be summarizing the Royal Proclamation of 1763, also known as the Royal Proclamation of Colonial Boundaries. This is an important act passed by Parliament following the French and Indian War, and is one of the first few acts that started the revolutionary period. On the online curriculum that Amending America is developing, we divide the revolutionary era into two chapters. The first called Taxes, Petitions, and Reprisals. And this chapter covers a 12-year period from 1763 to 1775 leading up to the Revolutionary War. This chapter is further divided into five sections, each one discussing a different crisis that occurred. The first crisis from 1763 to 1765 is the Sugar Act Crisis, and it includes several parliamentary acts like the one we are summarizing today. The Royal Proclamation of October 7, 1763, known as the Royal Proclamation of Colonial Boundaries, established restrictions on the English colonies from expanding their borders into land newly acquired from the French following the French and Indian War. At the beginning, the proclamation established four new English colonies, Quebec, East Florida, West Florida, and Grenada. The English also added several islands to the colony of Nova Scotia, and expanded Georgia's territory westward. These new colonies were established with royal governors, and when the people of each colony were able to, they could establish their own general assemblies. To reward the soldiers who fought in the war, each veteran was given land according to their rank. The new and old colonies were then ordered to respect the territory belonging to the natives who sided with the British during the war and to not even survey their land. Any newly acquired British territory not belonging to any of the colonies or the Hudson Bay Company or the individual native tribes who allied with the British were open to the Native Americans to use freely. The colonies were restricted from purchasing any land reserved for the Native Americans, without first getting the approval of Parliament directly or through the royal governors. The proclamation ends with a general extradition policy where any criminal who flees from one colony or territory to another will be apprehended and returned to the place of crime to stand trial. This was the first of three significant acts passed by Parliament during this first crisis. The other acts in this crisis are the Sugar Act and the Currency Act of 1764. We are currently developing an online course for those who want to study American history. The course is not complete right now, but you can still view them and give your feedback. We are always working to improve what we have, and so we would appreciate any comments on the development of this project. If you see what we do as a benefit to society at large, then you can financially support us. We have a Patreon and a GoFundMe, and any amount helps, even if it's just a dollar. Although, we do hope for a little bit more than that. Thank you for watching our summary of the Royal Proclamation of 1763. I hope you learned something new, and I will see you in the next video.